So, good morning. It's morning for me anyway, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Today I wanted to do a music theory video, but not really. I want to talk about modes, but what they mean to me. Not all of the hairy, technical stuff of how they work, but just how I think about modes. I think if you're struggling with grasping exactly what modes are and what their function is and what is all the big fuss about them, I think this will be helpful to you. So let's just zoom out for a second and think about the word mode in the first place. Where do you normally hear this word? Mode. I think of like a machine, like a, a computer or some type of a program that machines and programs have different modes, right? And they go through different functions. So if you want to, I don't know, like just off the top of my head, I'm thinking of my lawnmower. My lawnmower has two different modes. It has the mode where it throws the grass into the bag. And then it has another mode where it's called mulch, where you switch the little thing and it makes the grass not go into the bag. It makes it just stay and cut and, you know, it just drops it where it is. So that's two different modes. And there are lots of different things like this in life, but usually it has to do with a machine or a computer or something like this. So this is what I think of when I think of modes. And you can apply the same kind of reasoning to the way the word mode is used in music because basically all modes are is the major scale and then you're taking that major scale which is a tool which is like the mothership out of which all music theory concepts come from for the most part and you're taking it and you're activating different modes and the way you do that is essentially, instead of starting, say, in the key of C major from C and going to C, if you start on a different note and make that like your new home base, your new starting point, then you've activated a different mode, which has a different function. You know, like I, I remember when I was a kid, <laughs> we used to play Game Genie, you know, and you used to activate like infinite lives mode, or you activate, um, jumping high mode or you can't you can't get hurt whatever invincibility mode and there's all these different kind of modes or functions and that's how i think about modes and that's how if you're trying to come into this game of first starting to learn what modes are that's how you want to think of modes they're just tools that give you different functions you're activating different modes and a major scale has seven notes which allows you to activate seven different modes depending on where you start. So like say you, you have the C major scale, you would call that the parent major scale. If you go from C to C, you're just playing the first mode of the major scale, which is major. If you start from the sixth note and you go to the sixth note again, while using the not the notes from, say in the key of C, if you go to the sixth note, it's A. You're not playing the notes from A major. You're playing the notes from C major. C major is your parent major scale. And then you're going to take the A and go from A to A using the notes that are in the key of C major, the parent major scale. By doing that, you've essentially activated a different mode of the C major scale, which is the sixth mode. And that gives you minor. The cool thing is there are a few other notes, right? You got the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth. And the seventh, seventh, we don't really use too much. Most people don't really use it too much because of, well, the hairy harmonic theory stuff. But the two, if you go from D to D while using the notes of the C major scale, parent major, you activated a different mode and it's called Dorian. If you activate the third mode, it's Phrygian. Fourth mode, Lydian, Mixolydian is the fifth mode. And don't get crazy about trying to memorize them in this video, but just understand that just like any program, any computer, any machine, you have all of these different modes that you can activate. 
And I like to think of these modes that you can activate as moods, different access that you have to different moods. Because you see, we're accustomed to the mood of major and to the mood of minor because we've learned it, we've listened to it our whole lives. But these other modes are different potential moods that we can use when we're writing, when we're soloing, etc. And they yield other vibes, other feelings that we can't get just from plain old major and minor. And that's what the big fuss is about. That's why we would want to study. Because there are these different moods that we can get access to when we activate the different modes. We have the parent major scale from which everything comes. And then you can cherry pick what mood do I want to activate? What mode do I want to enter into here and once you activated that mode now you everything you write is going to have the vibe and the feeling of that mode just like how major has its own feelings happy upbeat kind of feeling and minor has that more dark sad kind of feeling each one of these modes has its own kind of nature that's gorgeous in its own way that's what i'm looking into that's what i'm studying uh all the hairy details of how to do this better, how to write chord progressions and all of that. And I'll be bringing information on this channel in the future when I feel confident enough to teach it. Like, I'll bring it in the future when I feel strong enough to really articulate uh, what I'm learning. What is a mode? Who cares? Why is everybody talking about moods when they're guitar players? This is why, because we can get access to these different moods when we activate the different modes. That's what modes are all about conceptually. That's why you would want to study them. That's what they're for. <laughs> they're just tools. But just like any machine, music theory works kind of like a machine and you can activate these different modes that will give you different moods. Hope that cleared things up for you. Just something to think about in the back of your mind. And I will see you in the next video. Remember to play the guitar from the heart and have fun with that. I'll see you next time.